Well, we're going to go from cooking out in the field to right here in our Good Day Cafe. Yeah, all week though, we are honoring the region's culinary community. They're getting ready for the uh, best of the best of this weekend's annual Grammy Awards. Uh, this morning, Chef was actually nominated for two awards. Will Artley from the uh, Pizzeria mm -hmm. or so is a finalist for Everyday Casual Brunch and Everyday Casual Restaurant of the Year. Good morning to you, Will. Good morning. Thanks Congratulations. for having me on. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in on the nominations. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting for our team. It's exciting for uh, Falls Church. Uh, just being nominated is a big deal, but, you know, going in there with all the big boys, mm -hmm. and Graffiato and uh, Hanks and, and all those guys, it's good to be part of it. So, so she can really hang with the big boys, right? It, yeah. Hey. A little, not, not little old Falls Church. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a time coming. We rebuilt it from about two years ago. From mm -hmm. They took all their stars away, and then when we came on with our team, we built it back into a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. So it says a lot about the community and how it's uh, able to support its its uh, its restaurants. Mm -hmm. Here's what we love about this. So obviously we're talking about pizzeria, which mm -hmm. of course you know gets us salivating. Yeah, right. you think but pizza. when you think pizza, you don't always think healthy eating as well. That's a good point. And you're living proof of that because you've changed yep. your life as well yep. to uh, to be a healthier dieter. And and that was part of the the whole thing is like um, able to watch my rest our restaurant grow and get better and step up and regain its stars and get its two stars and then as I went through a personal transformation and I became a better person which in you know I treated my staff better which mm. return treated my customer our customers better and it worked out and now we're. Back in the All right, game, don't be so. shy, Will. How much of a transformation did you go through? Uh, about 115 pounds. Is what uh, you've lost. In 11 months. Oh, um, wow. okay. I'm getting ready to do my first half Ironman. I've done uh, eight half marathons, two full marathons, mm. and ah. two sprint triathlons, and I just finished an Olympic triathlon. I'm Will's sure the salary helps uh, yeah. that. Will's so. be with us next hour. So, we'll talk more about that effort. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, yeah, what do you have today? Uh, we have a, uh, just a fun, just to show you that we're not just a pizzeria. We wow. want to show, uh, you know, the casual restaurant is we we want people to come as they are so we have a uh grilled watermelon salad so it's mm, not just okay. pizza so we have um you can assemble this for us yep. here i'll, I'll go ahead and assemble it for you so we have baby kale and obviously it's from the market so some are going to be pretty some are not going to be pretty so you just want to carefully go through it obviously it's important to uh realize what's going in your body mm -hmm. and uh you know Food is fuel, and that's uh, the biggest thing. So I have some baby arugula, some baby kale. I've taken some fresh basil. That's always, you oh, know, available, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it provides a nice bright. And people don't think maybe to add that into their salads either, but you certainly can. Yep. And wow, it makes a difference. Right? I just do a quick mix on this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to add some oven-dried tomatoes, especially during the summer. Uh, so many are available, and you want to preserve them as long as you can. I just basically toss them with some uh, fresh herbs, salt, pepper. I can smell and the then, oil. That yep. smells good. Mm -hmm. The smells are amazing, yeah. aren't they? And they can last, I mean, they'll last in your fridge forever as long as you mm -hmm. preserve them. You know what I mean? Wow. And it's a natural uh, way to preserve them. Some grilled onions that are simple. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to add some smoked used cheese, so mm -hmm. smoked blue cheese. Uh -huh. uh, adds almost like a, a meaty, meaty flavor to it. Okay. Um, then I'm going to add, here's our grilled wall watermelon. That's what I love. It's so unique. You yep. know, people are really starting to put the watermelon into the Okay, how do you grill the, the watermelon? Now. So the yeah, so the watermelon, you got grilled peaches, grilled watermelon. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a really hot, clean uh, grill. Mm -hmm. and you're going to let it get as hot as you can. You're going to toss the olive oil, or toss, toss the watermelon in the uh, olive oil, salt, mm -hmm. and pepper. All right. And I think, no, no one worries one. at all. I'm really yeah. curious. Now, yep. now, you're going to keep doing this because yep. uh, you're going to hang around with us. We're going to talk more to you. We're going to talk more to you about some other things you're doing as well. The races yep. you were talking yeah, about. The race. Yeah, the race. We've got a lot to talk about coming up uh, because we got another hour. We're not done here. <laughs> we're, we're only not. halfway home. No, no. <laughs> Guess what else we got coming up? Twilight star Robert Pattinson. He's going right. to join us live alongside the uh, Rover co-star Guy Pierce. We'll find out what drew them to the uh, to get into this drama while we're looking at this food right here. Yeah, no drama about this. This is good. We're back in a moment. It's going to be like a dream meal for you, Sarah. <laughs>